ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, and welcome back to Tech It Classic Reborn with me, Sam, and you, you. Today, we're going to be carrying on with our applied and gistic stuff. Um, in particular, we're just going to just, we're just going to get straight in and carry on working. So we're trying to make a dense energy cell, which requires a calculation processor. So I've got my pure quartz, and I've got my pure fluix crystal. So we should be able to do everything we couldn't do last time. All grown up, uh, and then transmuted to make more of them. So we need to go to the inscriber. We need to put the calculation press in. A pure Certus Quartz crystal. And this should do something. And we've got a printed calculation circuit. Where's the silicon press? There's the silicon press. Let's put the silicon in there. This should do something. Okay, we've got the printed silicon. Now we put the printed silicon, printed calculation circuit, and a bit of redstone in, and this should make our printed... Oh, something drove past, something big. Um, Right, and then we can take this back, and we can put this with the en energy cells that we condensed last time, and that will allow us to make a bigger uh, energy cell. So here are the energy crystal things. Uh, oh, whoops. Let's do that. Calculation circuit, all those around there. Gives us a dense energy cell. Right, now the next thing we're going to need is one of these things, which is an engineering processor, which requires a diamond to make. So we'll do that in a second. Uh, we're also going to need sky stone. Now, I'm pretty sure this can only be made by finding actual sky stone. So we're going to have to go and hunt for a meteorite. And I've got no clue if we'll be able to find one because this is um this is obviously an older world before applied energistics was added. So meteorites are probably not going to be in the terrain generation. Uh, we might be able to find them later on, but I'm not sure. So if we make this compass, well, it's, it's pointing in a direction. So let's go and have a look then pointing in a this way direction and basically it'll start spinning when we enter the chunk with the meteorite in hmm, that was a bit of a frame drop Right, so we're in the chunk. We do have to do a bit of digging around to find it. There it is. Of course, I am now completely full up. Uh, let's just chuck some of this crap away. Oh, wow, so much crap. Uh, marble could be nice. We'll keep the marble. Oh my god, there is so much crap. Go away, go away, go away. Right, we're just going to fly over this. And those items will despawn. I'm going to take some sky stone. Does it have an EMC value? Yeah, it does. Cool. Oh, what's this? A sky stone chest. Oh, so that's where you get these things if you can't actually make them. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this uh, logic press because we haven't got one of them. But we'll leave these dice skystone chest in this meteorite right that'll do i think uh slash home there we go so we're back i'll just put my meteorite compass away <clears throat> uh did it say we needed it to be skystone block okay so we're gonna need to cook it which is fine i don't mind cooking things um i'm just quickly going to dump all of this crap in here. Oh, what's that? Diorite. Mm. Anyway, that will do. Let's go over and sort this out. We're going to need a diamond as well. So we'll just come over here and grab a diamond. Whee hey. Run down this way. <laughs> Up here to the furnace. Uh, we'll take our silicon. Uh, one, two, three, four. 
Just gonna check my frame rate. 121. Cool. So turning table. Might make a mining laser at some point. How's this doing? It's doing quite well. We'll need to make overclockers at some point, but that's not necessary at the moment. I guess what we could do while we wait is we could make ourselves a Certus Quartz wrench, which I think is like that. Lovely jubbly. Right, and let's get the Sky Stone. Let's then place this. Oh, no, we need our, our processor, don't we? So to the inscriber then. Uh, where's the engineering press? This should do something. And, well, hey, we have a printed engineering press. Then we want to do uh, another silicon one, like so. And that gives us silicon. Then we want to put silicon, engineering, and redstone, and that will give us a printed engineering press. There we go. That's that. Then we place this in here, those around like so, this around like that, and that gives us an ME controller. Pretty neat, eh? So let's go and place this down, shall we? So we want to place this into the acceptor, then the ME controller into there. It's now getting power and it's fueling this, a, uh, this ME controller. Lovely. So now what we can do is we can run a wire. So we're going to try and get um, dense cable. Where's the dense cable Fluix? So that's covered cable, which is Fluix cable and wool. Okay. We have Fluix cable somewhere. I'll go find the Fluix cable in a second. Also get some wool. Uh, and then we can make ourselves the dense cable. So... Let's come up here. Uh, did I put the Fluix cable in there? No. Well, we're going to need wool. So, is it in mob drops? Yeah. Just grab some of that. Whee! Come down here. Maybe I left the Fluix cable uh, in here. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, so, if we place this and this, then that makes some covered cable. What do we need for the dense cable? redstone and glowstone dust we have some glowstone dust that's good um glowstone there redstone there and then just those bad boys like that then we can suck that out of there lovely jubbly so that's that now what we need is uh me drives so where are the ME drives? So this is engineering processors, Fluix cable, and iron. That's fairly easy for us to make, actually. Yeah. So let's just get some iron. One, two, three, four. And we'll also need a diamond for another engineering processor thing. Oh, come back. All right, let's go and use those up. And, okay, so we're coming here. I'm going to place the diamond in there and the engineering press. We'll let that do its thing. That gives us a printing engineering press thingy, majiggy. Silicon and a silicon press. We'll give us a silicon. Uh, silicon, printed silicon, yep. Yeah. Uh, place. Alright, let's so remove that. Place that up there. Place this in there and that there. This should make us another one of those engineering bad boys. And we need two of those. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly... Oh, no, I haven't bought a diamond with me. So we are going to have to go and condense. Which isn't a problem. It's just a bit of a nuisance to fly back and forth. But then I am lazy, so... What are you going to do? So we're going to grab this, condense ourselves another one. Don't think they stack. Oh, no, they do! Isn't that nice? Right, so two of those couple of these and the Fluix cable gives us ME drives, right? So I'm just going to condense a couple of stacks of ME drives. I'm not 100% sure how many I'm going to need. Uh, I didn't actually bother calculating, but I'll just condense a couple of stacks. It's fine. Right, so what we want to do next is make ourselves um, 
this, a 64k ME storage cell, which requires this, which requires this, which requires this, which requires Certus Court, a logic processor, so that's going to need gold. I don't think we have gold in there, so let's just go grab a gold ingot, make a logic processor. We can do that, no problem. Oh, hello. Uh, gold ingot. Down here. Let's get the logic inscriber press. Plus that in there. Okay, that's the logic bit thing. Uh, then let's do. Let's quickly just do this because I'm pretty sure I need one of these as well. Uh, it has to be pure Certus Quartz, doesn't it? So let's grab that. Put the quartz in there. Okay, there's a printed quartz one. Uh, then we're going to need a couple of silicon ones. So we'll just put. Oh, we can only do one at a time. That's that's fine though. That's fine. Uh, then let's grab one. Another one in there. Take this bad boy out. Put him in there. Put him in there. And then put you in there. Just a little bit more. Okay, we can. Oh, shit. We can take the calculation processor and then we can just do this for the logic processor. Wait for it, wait for it. And there we go. Logic processor complete. So now we want to take this back up to the transmutation room. Uh, and just run it down here. And we'll learn logic processes and we'll learn calculation processes. Right, so what did we need for this? We needed one of those, one of those, one of those, one of these. Which is Certus Quartz, Redstone and a logic processor. Okay, that's doable. Uh, redstone, Certus Quartz, Logic Processor. Alright, let's do that. One, two, and then we have the third one here. Uh, let's have a look. So, this is the one we're on now. We need three of those, a Quartz Glass. Uh, I think I'm fresh out of Quartz Glass. Luckily, it should have it saved. Yeah, boy. So, C. Quartz glass, one, two, three, one of those, and then I think it's just redstone again. Yep, 4K. So we put the 4K in there to learn it, and we want one, two, and then we have the third here, like so. Uh, then we want to find the 4K this time with glowstone and an engineering processor. So we've got the glowstone. Uh, might be a good idea to just learn it if we haven't already. Where is the engineering processor? There we go. So you press C. Go to the engine. Uh, put the engineering processor in there. All of these you put uh, glowstone around and a bit of quartz glass in the middle, and that gives you 16k. One, two. And I'm pretty sure it's the same thing again. Uh, we'll just check, though. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing again. Uh, we are going to need a bit more glowstone, though. So we'll grab a couple more of these. Right, so glowstone. Like that. One, two, three. Quartz glass. And then finally, an engineering processor. It gives us a 64K. ME storage component, we'll learn it, and then we'll just have a look at what we need to make one of these bad boys. So it's iron, redstone, and quartz glass. So let's just grab one, two, three iron. C, three iron along the bottom. One of those there. Uh, redstone, quartz, oh, fuck, I've used this up. Oh no, I haven't done it. There we go. 
Right, so that's that's pretty important for what we need. We'll just learn it very quickly. And then... Right. I'm fairly certain we can just store all of this crap. And actually, no, there is one last thing we'll need. We will need... An Emmy terminal. Which is formation core, logic processor, and an illuminated panel. So quartz glass, glowstone dust, iron. So let's start by getting glowstone dust. Um, iron and logic processor. Right, so let's go here. Place this, this, this. This and this. That gives us the illuminated panels. Uh, Fluix dust, charged quartz, logic processor. So we'll grab an another logic processor because we're going to need another logic processor. We'll grab one of these and we need a charged surface quartz. I think it was, wasn't it? So charged, Fluix, logic, gives us formation cores. What was the other thing we needed, did you say? Uh, okay, just regular quartz and another logic processor. So, logic. Bosch. That gets us one of those. Uh, regular quartz and then fluix dust was the other component. Uh, so, C, fluix dust, logic processor, another quartz gives us annihilation. So, annihilation, formation, logic, and... Illuminated panel gives us an ME terminal. Lovely. Right. So that should be all I need. But what I am going to do is get a transmutation tablet. It's basically a portable version of the transmutation table. Uh, okay. So what we're going to do now is break this. Oh, I didn't wrench it. It's going to have lost all of its data. I.e. all of the uh, EMC that was in it. Oh, whoops. Uh, and we want 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we can go C. One of those. Dark matter blocks and smooth stone all around it has now made it portable. So if we open it up, there we go. Lovely. Now what we want to do is store everything that we don't need. Okay, so we're just going to plop you in there, you in there, you in there, you in there. Uh, we're gonna, we're not gonna need the cover cable. We're gonna need you. Uh, we're gonna need you. We won't need you. We're probably gonna need you. Uh, we won't need the clipboard. We won't need the sky stone. We won't need that. Um, we won't need the illuminated panels. We'll need Emmy drives. Lots and lots of Emmy drives. Okay, let's go and do this then. Let's set up our computerized storage system. It's very basic. I don't need it to craft anything or auto craft anything, which I'm aware you can do, but I don't need it to. I'm quite content just sort of um, being able to store my items and search them easily. Right, so you want to get your dense cable. You want to run it along here. I'm just going to... Whatever. Uh, we're just going to run it up here. Then you want to get your Fluix cable, just because why not. And then we want to have it coming out like so. And because it's now a... I think it's a multi-block part. Right, so that should mean... Cool. Right, that works. So now what we want to do is I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, we're doing fine, I think. We're doing fine in terms of 
channels. I have to be very careful about the channels, I think. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to have a look in here and I want to grab as many of these bad boys as I can and I want to come down to here and I want to just chuck them all in here just to see if this will work. They're not on, are they? I can't quite tell. Let's try... No, what's wrong? I can't quite tell what's wrong. Oh! 32 channels. Oh, of course. Because they're all in use up to this point. 20, 14 out of... So we should... <laughs> 16 of 32 channels. I wonder if I just break this for now. Just break this. 16 of 32 channels. 16 of 32 channels. 14 of 32 channels. The fuck? Right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break this. I'm gonna grab my Certus Course wrench and I'm gonna pop every other row out just to see if this sorts my problem out. Because I can't seem to figure out what's wrong with the channel system. So we're just going to suck them out. Right. So 15 out of 32 channels. Where are all of the channels going then? I d oh shit. Okay. So it's now using 32 out of 32 channels. So if I that in there. No? Okay. What if I put it in here? That works. So it's just this final row that doesn't work at the moment. So if we remove that, then what we should be able to do, in theory, is chuck all of these in here. And they're all on, which means... Hey! Hey! We have storage. Now what you want to do is just suck up as many of these fuckers as you can. And do that. And just fill up the ME drives. Like so. And then you can do that. Filling up these ME drives. Uh, now, I know there's not as many as I had originally planned, but I don't think it really matters because each of these ME drives holds so much storage uh, that we shouldn't need to upgrade for a while. And if we do need to upgrade, we can actually just go out on a different side of the control block and that will allow us to basically do the same thing. So I'm just going to... I'm going to probably cut to when I have fill all of these up and we will start having a look at how to actually use them so I'll see you in a bit okay so here we have all of our ME drives are now filled with um what do you call it which means we can now start placing items in here I wonder where they're gonna start filling up from they're gonna fill up from the outermost or are they gonna fill up from the innermost I have no idea. That is the problem with this kind of setup. But um, I don't think it really matters at this point because, yeah, I mean, look at it. Right, so let's have a look if we can type in brick. Let's get a stack of basalt brick and then run this up. 
and round like that. Lovely. So it's all hidden for now. So what we want to do next is we want to uh, let's. I'm gonna trust the alchemy bag. No, I'm not. Fuck it. I'll trust it off camera when I know it's safe. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna dump stuff in our secondary storage chest and we're gonna start ferrying things over. And I will probably see you once I've finished that. So see you in a bit, there, guys. Okay, so it's now daytime. The energy supply seems fairly stable. Stable enough, at least for now, anyway. Uh, so this isn't getting any power, but this is actually increasing in power, which is reassuring. Um, I don't know if the power it produces in the day will last us through the night. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out and add lots more solar panels to that area so that it can produce lots of power. Because that's really what we need. We just need lots and lots of power. So let's add uh, another one of these over here. Flush with the wall. Flush with that wall. Uh, where else can we put them? It's got enough power. This is gaining power. No idea if it'll last through the night. If not, we are going to have to look at more sources of energy. Uh, because I just... I I can't seem to figure out why this just doesn't get enough energy. Uh, oh yeah, I built a high voltage producer whilst I was trying to figure out what was wrong with all of this. So let's now get an energy bridge and then let's get a RF consumer and then let's get the item teleport, the kinesis pipes uh, and then we'll run this here and this here and receive only plus 100. So it should, whoa, look at that. It's got a massive blast of energy to help it fill up a bit. Uh, and that should, in theory, help it running, he says. So if we now come over here, this should have power. Yes, it does. And all of the items weren't lost, you'll notice, because in actuality... Um... They're still stored in the data drive. It's just the data was turned off and therefore inaccessible. And so, yeah, this is computerized storage, basically. You just put it all in the computer. Oh, whoops. I'm going to put that in there. And so if we just do that. Right, let's... Do a slash uh, slash home. Yeah, here we go. So we can come down here and grab the rest of the loot from this chest that we need to take with us. Uh, we don't want to worry about that mine stone because we'll probably be binning them anyway. Okay, guys. This is the last item we have to transport to our new sorting system. Uh, it took me basically the entirety of the Minecraft day to do. Um, but it's all set up now, so let's have a look at this. Are any... Wow, where's where's all of it gone then? Where is it all? I don't... <laughs> Does it just pick random ones? I, it must have picked one of them, surely. Ah, these ones by the looks of it. But look, only two are even slightly full. All the rest are fine. We have plenty of room to expand more. Uh, the power level is increasing despite the fact it's night. I basically relinked the energy link and it seems to be producing enough power for it fine. Um, so I'm not really sure what happened, whether it was just a glitch or what. Um, but I imagine a dimensional anchor is probably needed. Uh, not a big one, just enough to sort of keep certain bits loaded. So we'll need iron. Oh, look at this. We can just grab a stack and then... Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Then let's grab some gold. We don't need that many. We only need nine iron. Get 
backspace all of that crap uh, and then there's just all of the other items that are in there so we can search for whatever's whatever's in there if necessary so let's fly up and grab our inventory stuff in fact we don't need that dimensional anchor there anymore because we're not growing any more quartz seeds so we could in theory just reuse that uh, world anchor dimensional anchor thingy -jiggy. all right let's eat some bread And let's get running. Yeah. Uh, we can put that away. Let's place this here. Change it to 5x5. Five five. Yeah, that sounds good to me. It'll keep everything loaded. So everything's going to fill up with power. Uh, let's have a look at basalt brick. Now, I wonder if there's any way to just sort of take one of an item out. View, sort order, search box, terminal style, tool center, small center. I think I like the larger version. Uh, so if we do A to Z, is that going to... Stored slash craftable, stored items, craft. Don't know. Don't know what that means. Whatevs. Lovely. But it works. It's all set up. It's ready. So I thank you all for watching. This is basically what we're going to leave it at for now in terms of our computerized storage system. What we'll do eventually is make a wireless uh, emitter thingy so that we can access it from anywhere. But for now, that's going to that's gonna do it. So I thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.